Hey guys, welcome to another video for the K20 Pro. We are talking about season two of the truth behind Xiaomi software updates. Now we did make season one for Poco F1. A lot of you liked it and everybody since then has been requesting that please make a season two, make such videos on K20 Pro. So here we are. Day before yesterday, we did a live stream testing the gaming performance of this particular ROM. So I'll tell you what exactly we did in this particular video and then I'll share some benchmarks. Then I'll share my experience of using this ROM. And you know, as we go with different episodes of this particular series, we will come to know if Xiaomi have actually slowed down the phone with a software update or not. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. You can follow us there, have a chat with me and a lot of fun. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. So first of all, let me actually go to settings over here and let me show you what software version we are running. It does say that the update is available. That doesn't matter. We are on Android version 9. So this is basically Android Pie. Security patch is of 1st of June 2019 and the MIUI version is 10.3.3. Now, how did I achieve it? I have an unlocked bootloader. I just connected it to the Mi Flash tool, downgraded it to this first ever version with which the phone launched. And then I you know, completely charged the phone, installed all the benchmark applications, PUBG Mobile, switched the phone off. I again tested the numbers on one, then kept it off for 10 minutes and you know, usual stuff that we usually do in this particular series. Now talking about problems or killing sensors, when you actually go ahead and downgrade, my front camera motor was not working. So I upgraded to 10.3.5 and then it started working. Then again, I downgraded using a flash tool and since then everything has been fine. So to answer your question that if you downgrade to the first ever version or a different Android version on your K20 Pro, you will kill sensors. I don't know about others, but I've not had any problems and everything is working fine since then. Now we come to the million dollar question what about performance so basically if you have a look the ui is pretty pretty snappy all right and everything runs smooth and solid nothing that you know will tell you that the phone was performing bad earlier but that is where the similarities stop now when you go to an older android version there are a lot of you know things that you would miss for example back when this update was available or the phone was launched wi-fi calling was not available so that feature is not there screen casting for me works but it does have some issues battery life yes the battery life is solid that is the reason you see the phone right now with very very less battery because i've been using it as my secondary device for the last two to three days and you do see that it's been on this charge for 22 hours and 26 minutes and we've had around one hour of screen on time so it's been on standby for around two days now and i'm traveling with it because the iphone 11 is my primary device now moving on we are going to talk about the benchmark numbers first so you will not have a chart available in this particular video but on you know the second episode onwards you will see that there will be a performance chart comparing the first update to the second third and so on so first what will we go ahead and check let's go ahead and have a look at Geekbench and the numbers. So if you go to Geekbench, you go to history over here. All right. Now that's the score which we got after keeping the phone switched off for 10 minutes, a single core performance of 621 and a multi-core score of 2472. Now I've seen a lot of Poco F1s beat this number with custom ROMs and yes, this is definitely low when it comes to the performance of Snapdragon 855. Now what else do we have here? We also have Antutu benchmark. Yes. So let's go ahead and have a look at the score of Antutu. 439,112. Now, again, this is slightly low because uh, I have seen uh, the stock ROM on MIUI 12 perform 450,000 and stuff like that. If you get into the details of this, you do see that the CPU, GPU, memory and UX performance. So we are going to further bifurcate this. We are going to further check in the other video when I update to, you know, 10.3.5 and compare it again. So that is N22 for you. Now, there is one more test that I had run that was 3D Mark. So where do we have 3D Mark over here? There you go. 
All right, so there we have it. The score for 3D Mark is 4,889 as the overall score. You do have the graphics score, the physics score, your score versus this model, it says 42%. So, you know, all in all, when we talk about the overall performance in the first ever update for the K20 Pro, at least, it was not that great. Now, add to this the experience I had for one and a half hour of gameplay in PUBG Mobile. I did get frames that were as low as 24 FPS while doing a Xenox bootcamp drop test. So, you know, I'm not saying that this is a bad update, but yes, I can definitely tell you that the update with which Xiaomi had launched this phone, it was not that great. Later, when they kept updating the phone, the performance continued to increase, increase and increase. Now, the twist in the tail for this particular, you know, device that is the K20 Pro will be that, you know, when we will actually come towards the end, when we are done testing all the Indian updates, we will go to the latest version of European stable and we will compare that with all the OT updates available for the K20 Pro. So all in all, the first update for the K20 Pro is not super amazing. It is not something to which you should downgrade and expect greater performance like was the case for the Pocophone F1. This is the first video. This is the first episode. There are, you know, at least four or five more episodes coming in which we will be doing a lot of testing and giving you the answer as to which is the best stock ROM for the K20 Pro. Let me know in the comment section, what do you think about the video? Until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at Smartphone Tutorials. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.